Hello, potato. For snack today, we're going ham and cheese. Smut Sarap Kasama Leslie's Clover Chips Ham and Cheese Corn Snacks. I am not sure what that means. Maybe I said a curse word. I have no idea. I'm sure I mispronounced it. But yeah, it says Smut Sarap Kasama, which just to me feels like, I don't know, Snap Crackle Pop. Now, looking at this packaging, you might think, oh, these are some weird, like, generic chips for the U.S. or maybe Canada. But they're not. I mean, the, the Smut Sarap Kasama is probably a hint to that end. But these are actually from the Philippines, an export product of the Philippines. And I guess it sort of makes a little bit of sense. You know, in the U.S., we do have plenty of things that they dress up to look, you know, vaguely Asian or like South American or just fall over, why don't you? And they're really just, you know, products made by and for the United States. So it would make sense that if you're maybe trying to appeal to people who are into Western things, that you might make your product seem like it came from the US or Europe, when it really did just came from local in the Philippines. And there are words around like, now these are clearly made for the US market because we do have a North American or United States label on it. Distributed by Kongguan Incorporated, Kongguan or Kongguan, I think that is a brand that normally distributes uh, like biscuits here in the US that are usually quite good. So that gives me high hopes for these. Unique corn snack, incredibly yummy and flavorful, wonderfully crunchy, deliciously addictive, best shared with friends. Clover chips, Samut Sarap Kasama. If someone could please tell me in the comments what Samut Sarap Kasama means, I would appreciate it. Of course, I could just look it up. I've really cared that much, but uh, I'm interested. And apparently the, the consume before date is $1.25. I, I feel like these are maybe uh, just about out of date, if not already out of date, because uh, it's unlike this shop to put tags intentionally over the, uh, the sell-by like that. And yeah, they were $1.25, and uh, it's part of why I picked them up. Also, just kind of sounded like a weird flavor. Do we have... Ah, we don't have an expiration date there anyway, so they're just covering up the fact that there isn't one. Oh, it's over here, of course. Nowhere near the consume before. I guess because it's not a sell buy or an eat buy, it's just a best buy. And that is uh, right now, February. So right as I'm filming this, we are at the consume buy or best buy date for Leslie's Clover Chips. And the ham and cheese seems like a weird flavor for crisps to me. So that's part of why I picked them up. Cause like ham and cheese crisps. It says share them with friends, but I don't have any of those. so. We will just ignore that part and enjoy them. So very likely all by myself. Well, maybe my wife will like them. And, uh, ooh, they're... I mean, they look like the package. I just kind of assumed the package was taking liberties. But what they look like... Look at those, like, shrimp crisps. That's the, that's the feel. Now, that very foamy... I was expecting something more like a Frito kind of a texture, despite the pictures on the front. But yes, yeah, it's more of that like really fine, foamy shrimp crisp texture. They do smell of cheese. Mm. They don't actually smell very good if you sniff the bag, but the individual chip smells nice and savory. I'll give it that. I don't know if I smell ham exactly. I mean, guess maybe a little, a little, kind of bacony, porky flavor or, or scent to it. So maybe, let's, uh, let's give them a try. Samut Sarap Kasama, Leslie's Clover Chips Ham and Cheese. I can taste the ham. Also, I don't think I've had very many crisps that were this texture that weren't shrimp. So it's uh, interesting. It kind of gives it a smoothness to the flavor. The flavor kind of makes me think Pringles for some reason. Maybe because I was talking about them before. The corn snack, despite having a fairly kind of mellow flavor, seems to really overpower the flavor of the, uh, the ham and cheese quickly. Yeah, I definitely do taste the ham. It does taste cheesy, but the flavor of the actual crisp itself 
takes over very quickly. Well, the ham and cheese flavor is actually pretty nice. It's uh, it's both really familiar and really weird. I don't think I've ever had a ham and cheese crisp before, but I do kind of wish the flavor of the, the actual corn chip or corn crisp didn't, uh, didn't overpower it so quickly. Because it's actually quite an interesting flavor. It's not bad. It does kind of taste like like a ham and cheese sandwich. It's. I'm surprised we don't have those here in the U.S. As a as a normal course, obviously, I can buy these. But 104 calories per serving, five servings per container. So um, we do have kind of American portion sizes there, or other American claimed portion sizes. I think most people would eat this in probably two, maybe three sittings. Uh, not in, guess what, you're supposed to share it with friends. Share it with five friends, and then you all kind of average out. Sodium is 10% of your day, so 50% of your day if you eat the whole bag. What's in here? The number one ingredient is tapioca starch. Are these? Okay, I was like, it does say corn on here, because I've been calling them corn crisps, like, since I bought them. And yeah, it does say corn snacks, but yeah, number one ingredient is tapioca, then yellow corn. Okay, there it is. That's kind of the uh, unique flavor. Got cheese powder in there. What's that ham coming from? Are these... I'm guessing these aren't kosher. Not that I think somebody who, who goes kosher would want to eat ham-flavored things. Yeah, ham powder. Has ham powder. I would like some ham powder. I mean, they have like pork floss, but I think it may just be a printing error, but it looks almost like there's quotes around the word powder. Like it's it's ham powder. Interesting. It didn't really come into this with much in the way of expectation, just because I feel like I've had clover chips before, like way back, like before doing videos. And um, they were fine. But I definitely haven't had ham and cheese crisps of any sort before. And you know, now that I have, uh, get on it, Lay's or Pringles. I think this is, a, this is a flavor that I think Americans could get into. Well, I'm going to go enjoy my afternoon snack. I hope you found this all interesting or entertaining. If you did, go ahead, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what Simut Sarap Kasama means, and I'll see you in the next video.